Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check. Today I will do a quick reading. So this will be a quick checkup on what's happening with the energies of the day and uh, a little bit of advice of how the twins can navigate it in a happier and healthier way. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, whether you are new or you're coming back welcome 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 and of course if you like what i'm doing don't forget to click the like button subscribe to my channel or leave a comment i appreciate it very much all right i'm gonna start with the cosmic deck oracle <sighs> and um i'll pull a card for divine feminines and then for divine masculines just to see um what, what's the theme for today, for the spiritual path? What is important to pay attention to? Yeah, a quick reminder, we're still in Mercury Retrograde for another week or so. We are approaching New Moon in Gemini, and since Gemini and Mercury are directly connected, um, we will bring a new twist on the way our communications are happening with ourselves, with the world, and I will talk more about it over the weekend, I'll do a reading dedicated to the new moon in Gemini, and I'll speak a little bit of what it means when it uh, when it's happening at the same time as uh, Mercury retrograde. By the way, anyone who has their sun in Gemini, happy birthday, guys! We are in Gemini season, and uh, yeah, this is a great. And, well, it's an interesting time <laughs> to be celebrating birthdays, considering all of the things that are happening in every corner of the world. I feel like something is happening, like wherever you are, whether it's climate or it's economical changes or political or war um, or COVID cases, right? Something is up. We don't have any part of the globe where everything is just peaceful and quiet. Divine Feminines, coming soon, welcome to the next Ascending Age. Yes, very fitting considering we approach a new moon. This is reminding you that, um, and also as we've kind of gone through the uh, Ascension phase uh, following the full moon in Scorpio, this is the ask for you to, so this is basically a confirmation of things that have already happened. And this is the ask for you to be more conscious on how you see this new age of yours. You know, like when you uh, graduate school and you go into college, imagine what you want your college life to be like. What are you going to learn? What kind of people do you want to meet? What kind of new experiences to have? That sort of idea, right? It doesn't have to be very specific it's better if it's not but at least you know certain kind of touch points in the corporate world we call them kpis or success criteria you know how you're going to know that you know you're moving forward what is the definition of progress for you what is the new you from your perspective right because there is the vision from the divine uh, but it's very important that you have your own vision and you're kind of assessing as you go through certain experiences in life and through those ascension cycles that you also have your vision of uh, your way forward, of next steps, of where you want to be and where you see yourself in every aspect of your life, right? I'm not just talking about mission or just about spiritual growth for yourself. Maybe this is the vision that you finally want to move to a different place, different weather, I don't know um you have a new hobby and you want to build a network there or something you know you maybe you need to or you feel like you need uh, to give more attention to your health right it could be anything really divine masculines okay we got number 15 fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker yeah, we see more and more that Divine Masculine is stepping into more of a leadership role, is asked to step into more of a leadership role to... Um, this is a more masculine energy that comes with that Aries vibe because 
a few planets, as we spoke about it before, a few planets uh, got got into Aries energy in May, and that is actually impacting the collective in general to be more decisive, to take steps forward. Sometimes it causes aggression. Sometimes it's too harsh. But in any case, we are driven to do more rather than be more. And that's what the bad masculines are feeling, this pressure big time. Like, I need to change something. I need to recreate my own reality, that sort of idea. For the uh, energy, yeah, we have Wheel of Fortune for feminines. For masculines. We have... Eight of Cups in the verse. I will pull a clarifier for the connection. Whoa. Six of Swords. I used to see this card in my dreams for a while. Not from this particular deck, but this card. Um, two of Wands, bottom of the deck. So I'm getting that a certain decision is coming into your life. And it's almost like it's up to, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like um, the decision or like you're kind of on a crossroad and the direction will be chosen. It's imminent. But it's more about whether you're going to be part of that decision-making process or you're just going to wait and see what happens. And either way, you know, it's going to work. But what are you going to be more comfortable with more of a trusting phase where you're like just trusting what comes your way or you're going to be more comfortable if you actually participate and you kind of consider these options and which way you feel you should go even if by consider we mean listen to your intuition right it doesn't have to be logical all the time maybe logically uh, it's they are like the same right they are equally valuable equally important sometimes that's the difficulty of the choice okay and as i'm saying it we <laughs> have two of pentacles for the feminines when it's about mm, is it this is it that i'm not sure okay um let's clarify eight of cups in reverse And the Wheel of Fortune is actually about the divine timing and uh, trust in the universe. So, yeah, I didn't notice that dynamic, but as I'm looking at it now, yeah, that makes total sense. Wow, a lot of cards for the masculine. Let's clarify Six of Swords. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, the Hanged Man. Yeah, it's, it's this time of... Um, contemplation and I'm feeling that some people will even get into a procrastination stage because at times you will feel like uh, it's too much pressure to make a call so you'll just give it time you'll decide to sleep on it to you know whatever you're gonna call it but you'll be like I'm not ready to make a move right now <sighs> be careful with that um, and like I said be ready that it may turn out to be a tower moment eventually if you keep postponing making a decision it will be made for you and uh, just to add to, I kind of spoke about this already for the feminines about the you know how much you're gonna put in this decision making process how much you're gonna put into the divine intervention and divine guiding you or you're gonna be making your own decision right the two of pentacles is also a choice between 3d and 5d so for some of you, I'm getting a message that you will see or you're now seeing how to get your priorities straight between 3D aspects of your life and 5D, where it's more spiritual, it's more about energy movement, it's more about um, getting yourself more informed on the subject, right? Like, and also how do you approach your own like wholesome, you know, personal self from those perspectives because we are we do live in 3d world so we cannot neglect 3d either right we can speak all we want about spiritual growth that that's the key part but if we neglect our physical health or the way we connect with other people on a daily basis 
um, I don't know, like our lifestyle in general or how, you know, what makes us happy in those 3D experiences, it's not going to work really well. We cannot just entire like base our life just entirely on the 5d experiences or 7d or 10d or whichever other realms you go to for for that for the masculines we have eight of cups in reverse clarified drum roll please <laughs> by wow two sevens two sixes it's interesting and that's an eight six seven eight we have seven of pentacles seven of swords Six of Wands and the Lover's card, which is number six in Major Arcana. <sighs> so, <laughs> Divine Masculines basically want to get away, but <sighs> the reason this card, from, from certain um, stressful experiences that they recently had in their life, but the reason this is in reverse is because there's also a choice present for them. And everything I was talking about in terms of making a decision is relevant for both twins. Some things are not easy to walk away from. They could be about relationships, about public image that we've spent a lot of energy building, or DMs in this case, have spent a lot of time building. It could be about uh, certain plans and strategy for life that they've had. For example, like by this time, like in three years from now, I'm going to be married, I'll buy a house and, I don't know, a car, for example, right? Like, there is a long-term plan here that's hard to walk away from. And the Seven of Swords is... So I would say here I see this as a mindset illusion. Mindset illusion. Where oftentimes we were trying to see the best in the situation. Or we're trying to kind of use wishful thinking in how things can play out. And now Divine Masculine see that that is not going to happen. <laughs> The way they saw it, it's not going to happen. And I'm not going to go into details why, because there are a lot of scenarios here. This is a general reading. But basically, they know they need to make this choice to walk away. But they're struggling to actually make it at this time. <laughs> that's, that's the energy in a nutshell. Because this has been their life. Because this felt so real for a while. Because they thought this is a great idea. With all their heart. It's hard to just throw it away. And basically what they what makes it hard is whichever part of the life they go to right now, they see these holes now. They see where it's not what they thought it would be. They see that seven of swords energy in some shape or form. And it's just overwhelming when it's happening in all areas of your life. For the connection space, we have six of swords clarified by queen of swords. Yeah, so this is the moment of truth. So basically, the twins understand that only if they follow their truth, if they're being authentic, they will get into a more peaceful space where they can be themselves and they can be free to, to create, to grow, and to be happy. I was actually I was just getting this download before I started the video for myself and my own situation right now. Um, where in a certain aspect of my life, I'm being, <sighs> being told what I'm supposed to do, how I'm supposed to learn, what are the next steps, and I know it's not working for me. And I understand that maybe it's the practice that a lot of people have followed, and maybe for some people it worked. I also know that for some it didn't work. I just know that I'm too far into, like, listening to my intuition and to myself and what works for me and what doesn't in order to, like I, I just can't ignore that voice i cannot just do something in a certain way just because other people have done it or because somebody wrote it in a book and we are supposed to follow it as best practice and although if i decide not to follow it it's gonna be treated as a rebellious step and maybe I will even lose uh, some of the connections or certain things that I've achieved in terms of my public image. I, I just can't do it anymore in that Seven of Swords energy. I need to get into my Queen of Swords energy, right? And both twins are seeing that that's, that's the liberating energy. 
Do you need to stick with it? And Queen of Swords is ruthless. She's, look at that sword. She's not taking any BS from anyone. And that's the point. That sometimes it's gonna hurt, but it's the liberating, you know, energy anyway. Okay, just to finish off, uh, a card from the Angel Therapy for each of the twins with some advice. Yeah, it looks like we're going through pretty tough times. Let's get a card for Divine Feminine first. What's the advice from the angels? Shield yourself. I like it. Protect yourself from harsh affair-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. There are also other techniques, and I'm sure uh, if you've been on the light worker journey for a while, you have your own recipe for how you protect your energy. <sighs> Follow it today. Do whatever you know to do for that. For the masculines, what's the advice from the angels from, for the masculines? Clear yourself. Wow. These are pretty cool, pretty cool suggestions, right? Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. And that came from those cards where there was like an explanation of all these different areas where there was a some sort of illusion, some sort of deceit uh, in DM's life, some sort of manipulation. Now it's gonna, like I said, it's like overwhelming because it just comes all at once and they need to clear the, their energy from that toxicity. It's almost like when you have, I don't know, food poisoning, alcohol poisoning, you know, when it's like the toxins are in your body and you're supposed to remove them. Before you do that, you're gonna have pretty rough time. Okay, and the message from Divine Masculine from this deck to Divine Feminines. What's in their mind and heart right now? What they would like Divine Feminines to know what's happening with them on the journey. Okay, I've got a few. Please, can we start over? I really do want us to work out. And I run out of fear that you will see the real me. Yeah, so we can see from the, all of these cards that Divine Masculines are doing some work on themselves right now. They're facing some harsh reality as well, but they are hoping that things between you will work out. They hope that you will give them another chance and they are at least wanting thing to start things over in a new energy. It may not happen immediately, but just know that that's something that's that's coming your way. Whichever that new beginning will be for your connection. But you may notice a big difference the next time you talk to your DM, especially if you haven't been in communication for a little bit. Okay, I... Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are on the planet. And I'll talk to you again very, very soon.